Hey there, Mustangs. Welcome to school for the week of February 28th. Let's start off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. Thanks for the update. This week we will have a very special Mustang Musings assembly. Let's get a sneak peek. So cool, we cannot wait to find out more this Thursday. During our next Mustang Musings Assembly, it's time once again for a Keep to the Code reminder. If you need a mask in the morning, please wait until the bell rings before coming into the office to ask for one. You can also get a mask on your school bus if you need. However, the only students inside of Building 1 in the morning should be students who have a library pass. Remember, you are always welcome to be in the dining hall to be warm, get food, or use the restroom. Thanks, Mustangs. Thanks for the reminder. Let's head to our admin for an announcement. Hey there, Mustangs. As you know, last week, you were able to see some new data in your By the Student, By the Standard Mastery Tracker. Um, however, it got a little clunky and a lot of your um, trackers froze up. I think we've got a solution that that won't happen as often, but the truth is the spreadsheets are pulling data from so many different places that it's not uncommon that it might go a little sluggishly and, and freeze up at times. Um, but I'm anxious to try the new solution that we built over the weekend. The only catch is you actually have to re-download your By the Student, By the Standard Tracker and reset it up. Um, so to do that, you go to tinyurl.com slash WL BSBS, and that gives you a new copy. You always have to hit make a copy. Um, I usually like to change the title so it's got my name in it and you know what quarter it is. And then you do fill it out with your information and it will retrieve your grades, including the CCLR scores that your teachers have populated for you. So you want to be able to have that working. Um, once you've made it, remember at the beginning of each quarter, we usually link it to the planner or on the planner to the uh, mastery tracker icon. So um, you can follow those steps there. I'll even give a little quick reminder of how you can do those steps so that you can make the new tracker work with your planner like you had set up before. Hopefully that helps so you'll get not only your academic scores, you'll get your crazy points, you'll get your minutes early to class, but you'll also now get your scores for the CCLR. We're looking forward to seeing how that works. Thank you, Mustangs. <laughs> You'll fill in these three gray boxes with your information. Uh, my name is Mr. Howe, my pretend student ID number would be 123456, and my birthday is 313, 1980. 
So it will eventually populate the data so that it shows on each of those how I've done. And I can at a glance know how am I doing and where do I need some extra focus. Looks like maybe I should use a little bit of extra focus here in my social studies to see if I can get that to be green or blue like the others are, which would be a great, great goal to work on. Now remember, our digital planner is really slick because it's got some great links on the front page for you to get to use. Right now, the one I want to talk about is, sh sure enough, the one in the center of the top row, BSBS Tracker, by the student, by the standard tracker. I need to go to where my by the student, by the standard tracker is the thing we set up together, and I need to actually copy the link that will reroute me to this location. To do that, I come up to the button that says Share, and right down here, there's a place to copy the link. I just need to hit Copy Link, and then you're gonna hit Done. Now, on the clipboard, it's got the link to this By the Student, By the Standard Tracker. To get it onto my digital planner, I need to go back to that again, and I'm going to click on the very thing that did not have a link before, the BSBS Tracker logo. Now, there's a couple ways I can do it. You can come up here to Insert and choose Link. Or I like the recommendation of the shortcut, which on my computer, which is a, is a Mac, it's going to be Command-K. I think on your Chromebook, it's going to be Control-K. So you can do either one. You can hit just Insert Link, or you can do Command or Control-K. So I'm doing that now, and it's going to pop something up like this. It says search or paste the link. I need to paste the link. Now I already copied it from the other document. So to paste it, I'm gonna hit the button Control V. V is in Victor. I don't know why V is the shortcut or the abbreviation for paste, but that's how computers work. So I'm gonna hit Control V. It's gonna paste the link that I just copied from my book by the student by the standard tracker. And then I hit apply. Immediately now, I've added one more link to my digital planner. So all the others are working, and if I click on the By the Student, By the Standard Tracker, it's gonna open this, and I can choose to follow it, and sure enough, it will take me to the same tracker every single time. Thank you, it's time once again for a weekly whip around. <laughs>
That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media.